What is up you guys, you're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, oh my god, we are in June. It is so crazy to just look, at, I was looking at my pictures and just everything I did this entire month. It, it feels like it flew by so fast, like in the blink of an eye. And like today I was running so many errands and I just felt like time was just going so, 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 so fast. I got my little gay earrings pierced, the second, the second one, so... Um, I had this one open, but it kind of closed, and so I got them repaired. So now I have these, and yeah. So today we are. There's so much things to talk about, um, favorites, but we also have like a lot of wow moments and a lot of key moments. So let's go ahead and get started, besties. Have a drink of water, have a snack, because we are going to be talking about so much stuff. And I know a lot of you guys like putting me like while you're cleaning or like while you're driving to work or whatever it is. I want to say appreciate you guys, and let's go ahead and talk about everything. So. Um, wow moments that happen in my favorite items obviously in the month of May um, first things first is I went to Chicago I went to Chicago it was such a crazy and spontaneous trip it's something that I've never done um, I loved every second of it I did all the touristy stuff I didn't really do any shopping I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do shopping vlogs when I was in Chicago I didn't do any shopping I literally did not buy anything if anything I just bought so much food back but other than that I was just living in the moment. I was at uh, all the gay bars. I had like a, a drag show brunch. Like I was just living the whole Chicago gay fantasy. Like I went to the zoo. Like I just did like the whole thing basically. So that was really crazy because it's a city that I've never been to and I was just living my best life. So I wanna say that's kind of like the first wow moment. And I feel like I went to Chicago like such a long time ago. Like I literally cannot believe like this was like like literally a couple weeks back this wow moment is i hit 50,000 subscribers so in the month of may we have 50,000 subscribers i think we reached it around like maybe like may 10th which is really exciting to say now i have over surpassed 50,000 subscribers and now my next youtube goal is going to get to that 100,000 subscriber plaque so i really appreciate all the love and support that i've been getting but you know i went to chicago i got 50,000 subscriber plaque um, the next thing that happened um, is I, Michael Kors reached out to me and I got some items from Michael Kors and that's such a big deal coming from a billion dollar brand. Michael Kors has been a brand that I've always loved, that I've always cherished. The fact that they reached down to me um, to offer me things to, for me to have on my channel, for me to, you know, what do you want? Super nice. They extended the soul to say, you know what, here, you can pick whatever you want. And, you know, it's just as, a, you know, we just want to support you and your channel. And that means the absolute world to me everything came packaged beautifully i love all the items that i got from michael kors and um like i said all these little things are like milestones like going to chicago spontaneously that's not me hitting the subscriber that's such a big deal a billion dollar brand michael kors you know sending me items that is such a big 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 deal so you know the fact that these things happen like literally one by one one by one by one by one it's absolutely crazy and i don't even know what's going to happen in june july august september um, I'm going to LA at the end of the month, so I'm probably some crazy stuff is gonna happen I'm probably gonna meet a lot of nice people, but you know the you know life has just been going super super great And then the last one of the last wow moments is um, I met Troy Birch and she signed my handbag So this is my Troy Birch Eleanor. I do have a video on the Michael Kors one. Check it down below I do have a video of me meeting her. I will leave it linked down below, but um, I met Toy Birch and she signed my Toy Birch Eleanor flat bag. I love it. It is some, one of my absolute, it is, is my favorite bag in my collection because it has soul sentiment. You nobody can say that they have a Toy Birch Eleanor with their name signed by Toy Birch herself. Like signed by Tori, 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 Tori mother freaking Birch. Yes, guys, my beautiful Toy Birch Eleanor is signed with love, Sergio XOXO. Roy Birch. Like, nobody can take that away from me. So, I love this. So I love, love, love this so much. So, um, like I said, I've just been kind of kicking it up. I'm just living my best life. I'm building good energy out. Everything in my life is going really well. Everything's falling in my lap. But obviously, I'm working. I'm grinding. I'm living the gay homosexual dream every single day. Today, I actually did a shoot for a couple pictures. Um, you'll probably see it by the time I go to when this video goes up you will have seen it, but I'm gonna show it to you Oh my god, I'm literally living in this outfit like can we not see I'll actually put the picture right I have these Oliver people sunglasses my little gay Lana necklace little shiny moment I just bought the initial one So now I'm gonna have this one the initial and then I have the Blake one So oh girl, I'm gonna be all on and out for hot girl summer be prepared for that a beautiful Aritzia bodysuit that keeps me snatched That keeps me so skinny hunty 
uh, a white oversized top from the road that I bought, I want to say during, um, in December. The Bottega Veneta cassette, which will be in this video, some A.G.D. jeans, and then some real mules. Honey, ain't nobody can tell me nothing. I was feeling myself, and that was one of the pictures that I did for the shoot today, so I can't wait for those to go on Instagram. I always tell you guys to follow me on Instagram because you get to know the T, you get to know the 411, um, even before my channel. Because, you know, channel, it's more of a production, you know, you gotta have the ring lights, you have to light the lights camera action versus on Instagram I can just be like oh girl I just woke up from bed it's to feel more of the fantasy one-on-one -on -one, so I'll leave my Instagram down below and so those are some of the wow moments that I have I'm still trying to think what else happened oh I got it no that was like at, at the end of last month I got a car last month I got it like a couple days before end of April so I did get a new car which is very very exciting um room 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 little SUV little gay moment throw the pictures in and they put such a bright smile in my face so um, here's to having a great month in June. Oh, and Cinco de Mayo was so much fun too. Oh my god, I had such a good time with my girlfriend. That was such a little gay moment as well. You know, I've just been living life and I, I just love it so much. So, um, I, I just finished looking at all the pictures. Um, let's go ahead and get started with the favorites, but, um, yeah, hopefully you guys had a great month of May, amigas, and let's hope and pray that going forward, it's just gonna keep on getting better and better and better, going to put energy and keep it moving, baby, because uh, life ain't gonna stop for you. So, like I said, first things first, uh, as far as materialistic item, Tory Burch Eleanor, signed by Tory Burch herself. Absolutely yes. Look, I'm all, this is my, if there was a fire and there's one thing to grab, I will not grab my passport. I will not grab my cell phone. <laughs> I will grab this. Tory Burch Eleanor flat back signed by Tory Burch herself. Honey, I'm going to put her back right here because um, she is going to get her personal space, but just not yet. I'm still kind of working on that. So that is the first. As far as other handbags, it's going to be the handbags that I got from Michael Kors. I've actually been using this one quite a lot because this one goes with a pair of Agody jeans that um, is kind of like the same color. So this one with like a white t-shirt so like this with the other darker Agody jeans with this Michael Kors Soho. It's been going really well and I just like how the studs on it, instead of it being like gold or any other color, I like that it matches the leather. So I think it looks more sleek and looks a lot more classy and elegant than if it was gold. I think if it was gold hardware, it would kind of make it more, it would have more of a contrast and I just like how more even it is and i like in the back it doesn't have any so maybe these studs kind of don't poke you i just like that it's up in the front you open it up and i i, I love the sofa i've been i've been using her uh, her a lot this month and I, I love how soft she is but i like how there's absolutely nothing in the bag and the bag is holding its structure like it's not flopping it's not moving around but yet it is so soft it is so malleable and i'm living the gay homosexual fantasy with it like i just Oh, baby, look at this color. So, and I don't have a navy bag in my collection, so this is the first navy bag that I have in my collection. I love it, and uh, I like the Troy Birch, this one, and then other Michael Kors bags. Those are gonna be hammocks that I'm gonna treasure for the rest of my life, and um, I love the sofa. It's such, a, I love it. It has a little gay back pocket, a little gay back pocket in here, and so the Soho bag from Michael Kors definitely has to be mentioned, absolutely. There's no way that I would not put it in this video. The next pack that I have is going to be the bread shop. This one has been, I wasn't use, not gonna use this one as much, but I just like how it's such a pop of contrast. So like white t-shirt, blue jeans, and I've actually been using it as a clutch too. That's why I have the straps in here. So it has two straps. So it has a strap for kind of a crossbody and shoulder bag effect. And then it has more of a kind of top handle or more baguette style. What I like about this one is that it has a little bit of the cute little MK hardware. I just like how it's very sleek and it's, you know, it has the MK, but it's not like out there. It's just a lot more minimal, but I've actually been enjoying it, using it as a clutch. And I really didn't think that I would use this as a clutch really, but I like how it has so much versatility in the Michael Kors Bradshaw and this beautiful lime color. I like that you can use it as a crossbody. I love that you can use it as a shoulder bag and I like that using you, you can use it as a clutch. But yet this bag is super, you know, it's a smaller bag, but it's it can fit quite a lot. I can put my cell phone back here and the cell phone fits here perfectly. It's not super bulky. It's super perfect. You open it up in the flap. You have a nice weaving contrast and then you have the smoother leather. And then on the inside, it's lined in fabric and then you have a little pocket here and then you have a zipper and then in the zipper, you know, you can put whatever you want and the pocket you can put whatever you want, but you can still fit a good amount of stuff. 
and I think that this is kind of like a good kind of clutch size and like I said I've been using it a little bit more as a clutch I really thought I was gonna use it a lot as a baguette but I've really been enjoying it using as a clutch especially at night like look at this pop of color like you're just stepping out of your uber stepping out of your car for ballet like such a gay fantasy like oh yeah my little gay Michael Kors bag like I just absolutely love it and what I like is that he does do a lot of gold hardware and I like in the lime color he chose to do silver I think the silver with the lime is a really nice contrast like look at that weaving oh my god beautiful baby beautiful and i am here for it so um this is the other bag that i'm going to recommend it this is the other favorite handbag from this video is the michael kors bradshaw um i have two more bags the next one is going to be my loewe noah i believe i didn't put her on my last favorites because i literally just purchased her and i said I don't think I'm gonna put this bag in a favorites because I just bought it. This has been another bag that I've been using quite a lot. I love Noah. I've been wanting a Loewe puzzle bag for such a long time. I've been wanting one since Emma Hill had hers. She named her bag Judith and that's what inspired me to name my handbag. So mine is Noah because it's kind of like, it's a very kind of general, general gender neutral like color. Um, not that, you know, pink can be men or women or blue can be men or women, but I just like how the color is just very soft. I like how it just goes with everything and I love the size at first. I really thought my Loewe puzzle bag that I was going to get was going to be more of a larger one just because I am a little bit on the bigger side uh, or it may be like a mini one but I think that the small size is like literally the perfect handbag size and I like when I carry it, it has like such a nice slouch to it. Like just something about the slouch of the puzzle bag. I like and I like how very understated and underrated it is. I just love the stitching throughout it. And it looks like a beautiful puzzle and i also like the zipper on the side and then on the zipper i just tend to put like a credit card or i tend to put something that i need a little bit more easy access or if i'm carrying it as a crossbody it kind of leans here but i also like the compartment too that it has a nice generous zipper and i like how it has two pockets on the inside low wave made in spain super hardware happy with this one and i'm really i'm really seeing this one as a forever handbag in my collection um, like i said i just been wanting a wavy bag for such a long time like i cannot tell you how long i've been wanting a wavy bag i think i've been wanting a wavy bag since i think 2017 or 2018 so um, the fact that I got it last month, I got it like the last couple of days and you know now I have it and I love it. I love it because it's a nice neutral and I don't have a color like this where it's like not white, it's not black, but it's also not super gray. It's just literally the perfect color in a Loewe puzzle bag and it's in the perfect size. This one has no feet at the bottom and it's just been wearing pretty pretty well and now that I have the lights here, I did clean it up after I got it. And it looks phenomenally well. Uh, I cannot say anything bad. She's already been through the gigs a little bit. And um, Noah has been holding up pretty, pretty well. So um, I like it. So Noah is for the win. I love you so much. And I like how soft and malleable you are. Like, ugh, like I can do this. But you're like, Sergio, don't do that to your back. I'm like, Noah will come through. Right, Noah? Noah said yes. Noah for the win. Another handbag. And then the last handbag that I'll put... This one may be cheating because I probably will put it in the next favorite. Um, I've got this bag for the last couple of days and I have been using it every day, non-stop, like non, non, non-stop. And so um, I want to put it in the video. So it is my all white, my cocaine white. Um, yes, guys, I'm calling this my cocaine white Bottega Veneta padded cassette. I've been wanting the white pad padded cassette for such a long time and dreams do come true. I got it a couple of days ago. Like I said, I probably should not have put it in today's video for favorites, but it's okay. It'll probably make an appearance next month, which is fine. So here is my beautiful padded cassette. A look at the beautiful puffiness. Like it just has such a nice puffy. And I have an unboxing for all these items, so I'll leave all the videos corresponding down below, guys, if you are interested in watching them. Pero mira que bonita. I love the gold triangle, uh, Daniel Lee. I just love, I just love it. And I've been getting asked, how are you gonna plan to take care of this bag? Baby, a magic eraser, the super powerful ones will do the trick. Careful, so like today I wore this bag with the white t-shirt, blue jeans, and it hits higher like for my t-shirt so I don't have to worry about it. Or if I wear it as a clutch, I can wear it like this or I wear it like a little bit like that. I am gonna try to preserve it. I will use it, like, like I said, I'm gonna use the bag. If it does get a little wear over time, then so be it, it's fine. My coach Cassie has a little bit of wear and she's more of a cream bag and I still love her and I still use her. So um, if it gets the wear, it gets the wear and it is what it is. But here is my beautiful cassette. 
I love her. She actually has all my stuff inside of here. Um, I just love it. And this one still has a protective sticker. Normally, if it's on the outside when it comes to stickers, I take it off. But if it has it still on the inside, it is absolutely fine. I just like how it's flat. I like how it's very carefree. I like that. You have to know that it's Bottega Veneta to know that it's Bottega Veneta. It's not a bag where it like screams, you know, monogram, where it screams like that. You know, yes, I do love my moments where, you know, I do love the, I do like the T logo or sometimes it's like Saint Laurent on it or YSL. But sometimes I do want that kind of understated, kind of like that real vibe and definitely gives me that fantasy. It gives me the very understated, like if you know, you know, fantasy. So the cassette is definitely one that I love and definitely one that you will see. Um, I have, you know, I have a couple of lip products in here. I have a face mask in here. I have a little bit of cash in the zipper and I, I just... I love the bag and I cannot say anything bad about it. So be prepared for me to talk a lot about this bag in June. Be prepared to bring, for me to bring this in LA and be prepared for this one to probably be in the next favorite video in June because that's how much I love this bag. So um, here is the Bottega Veneta padded cassette item is going to be we're actually going kind of fast which i really like because i find like sometimes my favorite videos can be like over 30 minutes so i like how this one's kind of like well watch it be 30 minutes but some of them have been like 40 minutes in the past a uh, perfume and this one is uh, chanel paris i purchased this one last year this one's definitely more of a weather scent even though the weather here in texas have been like rain and then the sun and then it gets super hot and then it gets kind of coldy where you can maybe wear a sweater texas dallas texas weather is definitely super bipolar but i'm here for it regardless i'm you know i love to i loved many options i love many varieties and i like to dress for the weather and if that gives me an excuse to change then so be it because uh, why not who doesn't like to change your clothes multiple times a day maybe because i'm kind of crazy but i i love it so this little gay perfume right here it literally reminds me of spring and summer like it's nice, it's fresh. I will say it doesn't last a whole, whole lot. I would say three hours, but normally depending on the bag, like so I have this in here. I've carried that in my Soho. If it fits, I will carry it with me. That's why it kind of looks a little messed up, the little sticker, but I love it. And it's a really great fragrance for right now. It smells really good. It just has that fresh set. Like it just, it has like a fresh kind of beachy set, but like not like overpowering beachy. It's just the perfect set. So the Chanel fragrance I love and I'm going to recommend it and this is the one and the only beauty item that I will recommend because normally the same things that I use is the same things. I have a video on the beauty products that I use. I made that video in January and it's still the same basically. Um, I still use the same body washes, the same shampoos, the same cleanser. It's all the same. So when people ask me, I'm like, um, you can, I always reference to that video because in that video, um, it's the, it's the same. I, I'm a very creature of habit, especially when it comes to a lot of beauty products. Two things are going to be eyewear. The first ones are going to be these Dior glasses, which I love them so much because I just like how they have a little bit of the gay cat eye. I like how they give me kind of like the little feminine vibes. Normally, I'm more of a traditional person when it comes to glasses. Normally, I'm more of a Celine. I'm more of a Tom Ford. I'm more of an Oliver People type of girl. But I just love the little cat shape of them. And I like how the metal detail on them, I think it kind of gives them a fun twist from the acetate and the metal. And I also like how these ones have a flat lens, which I find that flat lenses, for whatever reason, looks good on my face shape. But I also like that it gives it more of a modern twist to it. It looks a little bit more current than if it was more curved in. But I just like how it just has the smallest amount you know it's a square but it just has the smallest amount of cat eye just like the smallest amount and i'm here i'm living for it and baby la is not ready for me the the gays are not ready for me for pride i love them even though i can't be trusted with glasses because i'm pretty sure i lost a pair of glasses because i cannot seem to find them anywhere but hopefully they're in my car let's just hope and pray or they're in some bag because i do change my bags all the time and sometimes i leave like cases and stuff so Hopefully it will appear because the next item are the glasses from uh, the Roan Oliver people. Um, I have these in silver as well. I literally don't know where they're at. They're somewhere here. I'm hoping and praying to God. I've been notorious at kind of losing eyewear this year. And so hopefully I didn't lose them because they were pretty, pretty petty. They're titanium. They're made in Japan. They're super lightweight. I really, really like them. I like how they have more of a square effect versus more round. I find that it gives my face a little bit more structure since I do have more of a round face. That's why I kind of let my beard grow out because I find that it brings more structure overall to my face. So um, I really, really like them. And hopefully I didn't lose the silver ones. I'm still trying to think where they could be at. Um, I'm not going to worry too much. I I'll find around here. So um, yes, yeah, so the Oliver People X The Row um, optical glasses. 
Um, the next item are going to be shorts. So it is short season, you guys know. There's only really one brand of shorts that I really go heavy for, like I absolutely go heavy for, and that is no other than Agouti. I love Agouti when it comes to denim shorts. I love Agouti jeans. I'm just such a big fan of Agouti, and the reason is because they just fit really well. They have don't really have a stretch to them because sometimes I don't really like super super seppy. I don't really like super stretchy jeans as I once did because I find a sag when you walk. You kind of have to wear a belt. Like they just don't wear very nicely over time, and so I kind of prefer they'll fit good for a little bit, but I prefer more of the, like the non-stretch or just like the smallest amount of stretch. But these ones are probably like the shortest ones, and these ones are the I think swap meet one. And normally I wear this one with a third piece that kind of covers my behind on this one. But I've been living them. I've been living the size 26 fantasy in this one. And I love it. So if you're looking for nice high quality shorts. And I did pay full price for two of them out of the three. Um, I think that they're worth the money. And these are shorts that you can bring out every season. I just like how they have no branding. I like how they're a very clean cut classic. And you can never go wrong with them. And you can put this, a bodysuit, some loafers, a designer bag. And you're good to go. Cute glasses. And I'm literally ready to go to LA. And so I love this one and then I have these ones they're kind of similar now that I have them here but they are a little bit different um, but these ones are a little bit more on the longer side they probably have like an inch more to them than the other ones and this one is in a size 25 and then this one is in a size 26 fit me really good fit me really nicely and if you've been seeing me on Instagram wearing shorts um, nine times out of ten they are agouti I do have like a pair of white frame but I will be getting a little bit more of shorts I'm looking for the black agouti short as well I'll be more rocking agouti maybe a little bit of frame summer it does get really hot here in Texas but like I said it gets super bipolar it's like super hot and then it's like not super hot and then probably rain and since global warming's a thing girl we may get even ice storm I don't even know flash floodings I don't know, but we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be all good in the hood, um, living my best life regardless, period. So, um, period. Next two items that I have for my favorite is going to be this Moncler rain jacket. Since it's been raining a lot, every time it rains, guys, <laughs> every time it rains, I've just found an excuse to wear this Moncler jacket. And like, literally, guys, like, if it rains five days in a row, which I did it, I wore this jacket five days in a row. I remember growing up and I had one from Victoria's Secret. I remember I used my mom's credit card and then it, I asked for ID and I remember my mom like got so mad at me. But I remember at Victoria's Secret they had one for like 60 bucks like back in the day. I think it was like my freshman year of high school. And so I've always been a big fan of rain jackets and when I saw this one at Nordstrom Rack, this one I think I got it for like 200 bucks from a thousand. And so it has the Montclair written all over it. The day that I bought this is literally the day that I wore it and I've been, any time that it's rainy, I've been literally wearing it or if it's a little bit more humid. What I like is that it has the Montclair patch, but I like how it's very seamless. It just has it, but I like that it has a little bit of the Montclair showing. And then it, I just like how very clean, I think the white and the black, I think I'm more accepting of white now. So I just like the nice contrast of black and white. I like how you can cinch it on the side. I like how the zipper pull is silver hardware. It's kind of this palladium hardware. And then it has the long white tassels. I just like how it has incorporation of a little bit of the feminine touch to them. But I like how it's very unisex as well. And I'll enter pictures of me wearing the jacket. But I've been loving this Montclair jacket and I've been using it ever since I purchased it. And this is going to be like a class, class, classic wardrobe essential. I'll, I will never get rid of it. So um, the little Montclair rain jacket, love it. And it's going to be perfect for Texas weather. Last favorite item. I think this video went pretty fast. I think it's going to be maybe like t around 25 minutes, which is actually pretty good because she was known for long videos. Let's just put it at that. But the last favorite, guys, is the gay Johnny Versace moment. Beautiful leopard. Leopard with kind of like a Hoonstown print to it. It's Versace, made in Italy. Look at this beautiful hardware. Like, look at the little chain that says Versace. Like, ooh, can we cut this out? Can we make it an earring? I'm just playing. But, like, look at that. Look at the beautiful gold buttons, the, the Medusa. They are absolutely stunning. Look at that absolutely beautiful like when you walk it just has such a nice sheen obviously you just button the first one you let this one not button but this little medusa serves all the moment and this one fits me like an absolute glove i've already worn it like three times and even though it's more of a statement piece baby uh, after i get that lana s initial necklace ooh, nobody can tell me anything me queda 
me queda absolutamente a la medida. I literally feel like a, artist, a Latin trap artist. Me siento bien maluma. I feel like like one of those like Latin artists that lives in Miami. Like, look at it. It just like cinches this waist. I just feel so good. I mean, I'll button both of them, but obviously, you I don't button both of them. But look at look at it. Look at this round moment. Like, I'm just living for it. I like in the back. Like, it just looks phenomenally well. But especially the waist. It keeps this waist snatch, baby. But I I love it. It's one of my absolute favorite pieces. Ever. Even though this is more of an out there piece, this is a forever piece for me because this is something that. I would so much enjoy bringing out out of my closet five years from now, ten years from now. If I'm still the same size, it has such a great story behind it. So I got this one at Nordstrom Rack. It retailed for three thousand dollars, and it was there for eighty nine percent off. And so I got it for three two ninety nine ninety seven. And so I got a three thousand dollar blazer for basically ninety percent off. And I, it fit me perfectly. It was made for me. I've been kind of craving Versace ready to wear. So this definitely gave me all the cravings for Versace in the month of May. Who knows if I will get that craving again in June. Maybe for the Versace still. Maybe there will be something that I like. But this Versace little leopard game moment I absolutely love. And then, oh, I have one more item. I totally forgot. It's right here. The, these are some the row mules i already got little scuffs in them but literally i got a, like a big scuff on it the other day baby i got a magic eraser that baby came right out magic eraser be literally saving my butt like it literally is a lifesaver but these are some row mules i love white shoes but i find that for white shoes you definitely have to get more of a premium shoe i find that white shoes can look very cheap very easily and can get dirty very easily so you have to be kind of careful with white shoes for black shoes i find that maybe you can go a little bit of the lesser price point you can definitely kind of pick and shoes but when it comes to white shoes i just found that nicer it's worth buying a white designer shoe versus you know maybe going uh, a little bit of, of a certain price point just because white can look very very cheap very easily so you got to make sure whatever you get in white the quality is good um but i love them so much they are made in italy they kind of hurt to break in i broke them in for the first two to three times yet again i broke in like three designer shoes at the same time so i mean i'm looking at my feet right now and they looked used and abused we'll put out that baby and so i love it they are mules perfect they hit me really well in moment and i love them so i do want to share those with you but this is my this is my main favorites guys there's so much fun stuff to happen and i'm just like looking at all this stuff and it's just really so much joy and excitement and i'm just thinking about all the things that happened in this month and you know life goes by so fast so you got to make the best of it every single moment and live your best gay life because Time will go by, and before you know it, guys, I'll be 30, I'll be 40, I'll be retired, you know, so I, I gotta make the best of every day, and I definitely am, so I uh, hope you guys are living your best life. I love each and every single one of you, girl. We got a men's extra small shirt here in the house. It's a little tight. Well, it's not really tight. Like, it's very comfortable but i'm living that skinny legend life and yeah i want to say thank you thank you so much for everybody watching this video i love each and every single one of you i'll leave the links for everything down below make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up videos on the channel daily so make sure make sure to subscribe so you can miss any one of these uploads and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys and take care